Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Now, great news the PC Engine CD Core has been released. Uh, it is now public release, and you guys can grab it. It's been implemented into auto updaters. Uh, as um, as the core has been released, I've, I've received uh, a lot of comments on my videos, my posts, uh, some DMs regarding some people that are having a great experience and a lot of people that are still having issues with it. So I'm just going to run through a process now. Uh, hopefully, if you follow it step by step, you'll get the same results that I'm going to get. So what I've done here, over here in the top right, this is a memory card that I use for testing. It's a 128 uh, gigabyte memory card and I've got it as you can see, uh, set to XFAT. Now, the only thing I've done with this uh, memory card is I put it into the analog pocket and switch the analog pocket on, which then creates these folders. So we're gonna go through a little bit of a process. We'll go through it together. This here's my downloads folder. So uh, you can skip some of the steps, but I literally just wanna do it as if, if you're completely new to this and you've got absolutely no idea, then this might help you. I am not a technical expert, I, I, uh, and I'm not a technical expert, I'm just the end user. But um, I'm fortunate enough uh, to have a little bit of experience and and access to people that have a lot of experience uh, before you know I start I'd like to send a massive shout out uh, shout out to Adam Gastinu, uh, Mazamars, uh, Matt uh, Matt Panella whose update we're going to look at uh, shortly retro um, retro driven and Neil Morrison uh, as well as Terminator 2K2 the guys have been working hard on on all the bits and bobs that they're doing they've been helping uh, me to some extent answering my questions and just being patient so anyway um now that that's out of the way I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video so we're going to we're going to do Matt Panella's one I've previously on the channel I've done pocket sync I've done retro driven's one I've not really tried Matt's one I tried it a few days ago and honestly I absolutely love it so now there's free updaters that I use and I go in between so anyway once you're on this page I'm using a Windows version I don't have a Mac the only Linux uh, the Linux machine I've got a Linux machine however you say it is the Steam Deck and and I'm not too confident with it but let's uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download the windows version of it yeah okay so we have got that here no so let's let's keep that okay so it's going to flag up as a virus but what we'll do uh, a little bit of due diligence uh we'll just scan that so this is real time sorry that's on my other screen so we'll have a look at that no threats found we're good with that now i'm trying to do this tutorial in real time because i actually done it earlier where i got everything to work but and i just recorded it and to do a voiceover is a little bit more difficult at least if i'm doing it then hopefully i'm going through the process uh, step by step but once we've scanned that we know it's clean go ahead and unzip that which we're going to do now so extract files and okay so that should show up here sorry you didn't see the extraction window I've, I've got a dual screen set up and everything kind of defaults to our main screen but there you go we've we've unzipped we've unzipped it now anyway so that's the pocket updater so what we want to do now is um matt panella's one uh, i found at least best is to put it on the micro sd for your analog pocket on the root of it so let's just uh, let's just copy this over here uh so right okay so what we've done now so this is our analog pocket sd i'm using a new sd again you can just add this to an existing sd I i'm just doing it it's just easier for me to do it and and just kind of show a clean uh, a clean way of getting uh the games and uh yeah the games and the actual core on so let's go ahead and run this executable again it's showing up on my other screen so let's bring that over here and just do that okay so now okay what would you like to do before okay so right install cores yes no ask okay so generally i would do yes and i would install everything it throws at me if i don't want something cool uh i can i can i can live with that uh pardon me i've got my i'm just gonna put my phone on uh, vibrate because i just heard a notification i don't want it to interrupt the video again uh okay so let's just do ask so here's a number of calls i'm gonna skip loads of them um okay so let's let's skip this call and what i'm looking for is mazamars here we go. we've got mazamars amiga neo geo neo geo overdrive okay we've got the pc engine cd yes this is the core that we want okay now i'm just going to hold down no we might get a whole bunch of no's at the bottom uh let's have a look okay cool uh that's that's good all right we're on the next one so now what we want to do is we've we've chosen our core uh we want to uh, now update all so let's select zero and enter and here we go now it always checks for firmware updates and get i don't know if you can turn that off or not i i generally prefer doing my firmware updates manually myself 
on a separate SD card and that's something that I'll do. So I'll delete the firmware update, which you can see it's going uh, it's going on there. Okay, so we we did it. Okay, cool. We did it. So let's let's exit this. Let's exit. Okay, and five and exit okay so we're out of this we don't need this window anymore so let's let's get out of here so what we're going to do now so now we have got the core on there if we just go in and have a look we'll have folders created so we've got a pc engine cd we've got the common folder created so this is where your games will go in the common folder and we will add, add some games to that shortly this is where your json files will go yeah there's no json files in there at the moment the json files are really what you need to get everything working i won't explain the science behind here because i don't even fully know it but it's, i guess it's just a, a way of pointing um things to the right place um but without getting too much into that let's go back out so we're looking at looking at assets and under cause we've got it here okay so we are good here and we should here we go so we've got a bunch of files in there before I do that, let me just go back and check. So I'm a bit tired, but here we go. So we've got, it's grabbed the BIOS for us and it's grabbed version 3.0, which has the most compatibility, at least in my experience. So let's stay on this folder uh, over here for now. And here's a bunch of games that you're gonna see uh, in the video. So I've got, I've grabbed these games here. I've also got a BIOS file here, but I'll leave that one. We'll, we'll, we'll try the one that we've got with this. So the games that we're trying is, um, and one thing uh, I kind of need to mention, I forgot to do it, so I'm adding this in the video after. Hopefully the editing is okay. Very, very important. The games that you download need to be like this. So they need to be bin files with one Q file. Now, I don't know, the ones that I'm getting, they've got a number of bin files. Now, 27 is the maximum number of bin files you can actually have. Um, you may be able to try some with more bin files. I'm not sure if you get an error from the auto update of creating a JSON file, or maybe it will stop working. You may get a black screen. I, I don't really know, but generally anything with 27 or less bin files, you're good. Anything after that, your your mileage may vary. So sorry if this kind of seems odd. I kind of forgot to do it and I started putting the video together and I was like, okay, maybe I should show this because this is an important part of it. So this is what your games should look like that you're putting on there. So they should be in a folder. And within the folder, this is what you should have. Uh, this is Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Then Fighting Street, which is Street Fighter 1. And they'll be sh shown in this order. Image Fight 2, Operation Deep Striker, Lords of Thunder. And this is someone over on Twitter. They, they said that this game, Tokimeki Memorial, was uh, having sound issues. So we're going to put all those games on and we'll check it out. And we'll see if we'll have any issues. So what I'll do is I'm going to talk over the tutorial part. But when I show the games, I'm just going to record it with the sound. We're mainly checking the sound because a lot of people are complaining about the sound. They're not getting stuff working so let's just go ahead and copy these so that the, the editing i'm going to do is minimal so i'm probably going to speed up the process here uh or maybe not actually it's not actually happening to yeah, yeah my memory card's good it's getting at a decent speed so in the meantime i'll say guys if you're new to the channel then uh please hit that like button it helps these videos get out and noticed and uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this okay i really thought it would be quicker than that okay so look as you can see the games are going into the folder might just speed up this little bit here okay now that we have our games in here what we are going to do okay what are we going to do right let's uh let's get rid of this folder for now so let's go back out okay so let's open this one in a new window and let's just let's pop this down here for now Okay, oh, there's my recording screen, <laughs> as you saw that pop up. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this screen and we're going to run the updater again. And the reason that I've done it in this way, we've got the core on there. Now that we've put the games on there, we're going to go through that process again and choose just to update one core. The op options might have been saved, but just so it doesn't go into a long thing, I am going to... Um, Let's just go to the root of it. Okay, so here we go. So this is uh, this over here is where the JSON files are going to get generated. That will uh, give you access to the games, and we'll get we'll get the things working. Like a friend of the channel says, video game esoterica. This is how the sausage is made. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, right. So what we're we doing here. Okay, so here we are. Our pocket update X uh, um, updater exe. Let's click on that. Let me just drag that from my main screen to over here. Let's make it let's make it half the screen so your screen's not wasted so let's just go um 
select cause. I just want to be on the safe side. It, it might have remembered it, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it. Let's just go ask and we're just going to go for that prompt again. So we just keep going. No, 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 no. There's no limit. Uh, okay, Mazamar's Amiga, Neo Geo. I think it's the next one. So let's go yes here and let's just hold down no until we kind of get to the end. Should be should be getting close. Oh, okay, got one extra and I was trying not to get that. Okay, so let's enter. Okay, so let's do update tool, which is uh, zero. And with any joy, we should see, if you look at the screen over here now, once I hit zero, you should get the JSON files getting built for the five games that we've got on there. You know, like the Street Fighter, the Castlevania, Image Fight, uh, Lords of Thunder, and that game, that Japanese game whose name, I, whose name I can't remember. Okay, let's hit enter. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay, there you go. Bang. The Jasons are there and we should be good. Now, like I said earlier, I don't need this firmware file, so I'm just going to delete that. But that's something you might want on there. I'm, I'm already updated to that. Um, and honestly, this is pretty much it. Like, you've got your JSON files in, in this folder here. You've got your games in the common folder. And you've got the JSON files that will point you towards the games insert your memory card then so let's go and insert the memory card and check some of these games out okay here we are so guys over to the analog pocket let's insert the memory kid uh, memory kid the memory card in the device let's boot it up and let's just see how we boot up the game so it's not as simple as like when you're doing a snes game you just kind of pick the game and it runs so what you do is you uh so this is not, not me doing it live i'm talking over it so i'm going to try and time it um so okay so let's go over to open fpga once there okay so it's only got this core on there so once we're over at our pc engine cd core so we go over there there you go that's the json files that we're seeing there that have been generated uh so let's go ahead and pick the first game which is going to be castlevania uh rondo blood so once we pick that we need to go to the bottom and pick the bios see if i click that file it takes me to nothing once we go to the bottom that boots up the game i'm going to shut up now and we're going to listen to some of the game sounds
断末魔の叫びを上げて沈黙した人類には再び平和が戻り人々は荒れ果てた地球の復興に全力を尽くしそして3年の歳月が流れた Okay, guys, so that really is it for this tutorial. Now, I use uh, Matt's updater. There are other updaters up there, like Retro Driven ones or, or Neil Morrison's ones. So, whichever one you choose to do, the principle is pretty much the same. Uh, I never really tried um, Matt, Matt Panella's one before. Uh, I only tried it recently, so I wanted to feature it in this video, and it's really, really easy. Um, just follow the instructions on here at least for windows that's how it works uh hopefully it's similar for mac and uh linux so that that really is it if you're having issues with sound the only thing that i can think is um hope just check your memory card is x fat and if it's x fat and you're having those issues it's quite possible that you may have a counterfeit or a memory card that just isn't uh, very good personally i always get my uh memory cards from places like amazon just because i just want to make sure that they are actually uh legit but anyway guys i really hope you found it helpful enjoy it the pc engine cd core let me know what games you're playing what your experiences are i'm really looking forward to kind of getting into this i've got to stop doing tutorials and stuff and actually just enjoy some games for myself uh, but that's really it guys if you're not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe hit that like button i'll see you guys around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out